some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Florida, where we find a man who just doesn't have a lot rolling around in his head. And, well, he ends up getting arrested for his own damn stupidity after, well, he just gets out of jail. And I would like to thank my subscriber who pointed this video out to me and for the channel Arrested on Cam for posting it to begin with. So go ahead and go to their channel and rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? So we can't release anything that went into evidence, even if it's for safekeeping. You have to schedule an appointment with our evidence technician. Dude, I need my wallet, my phone, my no, ID. I don't have access to it. We don't have access to any of that stuff. Once it goes into evidence, the evidence technician. Evidence for what? Because it's for safekeeping and all goes into an evidence law. So how do I live without my phone and my wallet, my ID? You start by not getting arrested. That's a good, that's a good start. Well, that's in the past, so I have to move forward. Okay, so like I said, none of us have access to those things. Okay, who has access? The evidence tech. He's going to be here tomorrow. What you'll have to do is you'll have to call, you have to call and schedule an appointment with him. And you Dude, have to schedule an appointment. I have nothing for the night. My money, my phone, no Listen, numbers. You, that was in the past, but you made decisions in the past that have gotten you to the point where you're at. Dude, there. you guys have my shit. I was released from jail, bailed out. Give me my stuff. Oh, we can't. You can't. You can't. You have to schedule an appointment. I'm going to take a very wild guess and say that you're a man who's made very poor decisions in his life and continues to make these very same poor decisions, which is why you were arrested to begin with. In addition, you might have a problem with comprehension skills, which leads you to fail to comprehend that this is a Saturday and the property officer might not be there today and is most likely going to be there on Monday, like they said, which brings me to a question. Do you have the ability to call? any friends of yours to come pick you up drop you off at your house for the extra day that way you can come back later and get your stuff because that would be the less dumbass decision right there how the f is that just that explain works. it we just explain it it's sunday it's only during business call, hours it's set to be retrieved the evidence technician works nine to five monday through friday so be here at 9 a.m sure yes Yep. I don't know if he'll be able to give you your stuff right then. Normally it's on an appointment scheduling basis. But you can call well, come he doesn't get here till 9, how can I call him and make an appointment till 9? You can't. We'll call right. him 9 and make right. an appointment. Pull is what? You have my phone, you asshole! Show up here at 9. You know, dumbass, there is a solution to this. And it uh, does require that you at least contact somebody, your neighbor or something like that, who does have a cell phone that they can let you borrow, and just maybe you could set up that appointment when the police department opens on Monday. And that's assuming that you haven't pissed off everybody else that you know that has a cell phone to begin with. So show up at 9. That's what I just said. Okay. okay. Have a good one. Do you, you, you guys enjoy this? You know, the, the police used to help people. You tried it. I went to the I'm hospital right, to right, get right. sober, and then I wake up in jail. Dude, charged. you came at me. <laughs> I don't remember anything, dude. Well, that's not my Our fault. fault. I'm not saying fault. it is, but okay. it's your fault that you have my stuff now. No, it's no, not. That's, that's, that's actually your fault. You can't leave it there. The you made. You got arrested. We couldn't leave it there. We have to take it. Someone steals it. Ah, uh, yes. Blaming the officers for the, for the fact that you were arrested. Yeah, that'll work out right there. And let's go ahead and blame the officers for you getting arrested in the next few minutes. Because, you know, that worked so well last time. Give it to me. We can't. Yeah. It's in a locker. I'm not the evidence tech. Call None your of supervisor. He's right no, there. Perfect. Let me speak to okay. him. Okay. He's not going to get it for you either. Let me speak to him. Yes, sir. Dude, I get bailed out of jail, mm -hmm. and I have no access to my ID, my phone, my money, mm -hmm. nothing. And you're telling me I have to come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. to make an appointment to get my stuff back that you took? What am I supposed to do tonight? I don't know. And you don't give a shit. It's not that I don't give a shit. 
what option do I have for you? It is our policy. We can't bring bags into the jail for the jail policy. We have to bring them That's here. That's fine. They're here. Now give them to me. It's not how it works, which I've been listening to them describe to you and explain to you. How does it work? I'm not an evidence te technician. I am a sergeant. These are officers. We are not evidence people. It gets submitted. Call them up. It's not how it works. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay well, now you're gone and done it, uh, my pea brain friend. They're gonna get you for disorderly conduct, to the very least, at this point. So, enjoy that arrest. At least you'll have a very short, uh, walk to the police station, that's for sure. There's hours? Leave. Oh, I'm leaving. Leave. You're worthless. You get paid way too Leave. much. For you can job. come back on Monday at 9 a.m. I will. And I'll be here. Appointment. But right now you need to leave. Yeah, I'll be here. Right now you need to leave. Thank you, buddy. Have a great night, sir. We'll jump off somewhere else. My dad was a state trooper. That's great. And he puts you pieces of shit to shame. That's great. You're doing the name of real good service. Your dad was a state trooper, huh? Well, I bet he regrets the time that uh, your mama didn't spit you out when she had the chance. And I'm sure your mother is also lamenting at the fact that she made that horrible decision not to do so. You're doing the name of real good service. People used to help people. You want to come back over here, you can go to jail. I'm not the one. You dealt with them last night, you can deal with me today. Ooh. I don't remember last night. Walk. I went to the hospital to get help. Watch the sun. Why are you arresting me? What did I do now? I came to get my belongings and call the truth. You guys are garbage. No, dumbass. You're the one who's a pile of garbage at this point. And besides, the police officers do have a procedure that they have to follow. And if they violate that procedure... Well, they might end up getting themselves fired. So then the question becomes, do they want to violate their policy just to please a dumbass such as yourself? Probably not. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?